How to set up any Wavlink outdoor long range Wi Fi extender. Hey guys! Welcome back to the channel. Today's video aims to provide a solution to your problem of minimal to no Wi Fi signals the moment you step out in your backyard or garage. Yes, that's frustrating. Therefore, this video will show you exactly how to set up your Wavlink Outdoor Long Range Wi Fi extender in a simplified process. Whether you've just unboxed the device or you're struggling with the setup, this video's got you covered. Let's dive in. First of all, get all the components in place. You'll have the Wavlink extender itself, a power over Ethernet, PO, injector, mounting accessories a power adapter, an ethernet cable, and a quick start guide. Now, grab a screwdriver and make sure you have access to your main router. Plug one end of the ethernet into the PO port on the injector and the other end to the LAN port on the extender. Now, take the first end of the second ethernet cable and plug it into the LAN port on the injector to your router. In case you want a direct connection, Plug in the power adapter to the injector. This powers the extender and gives it an internet connection through a single cable. Wait about a minute for the device to power up and stabilize. You'll see the lights turn on. On your phone, tablet, or laptop, navigate to Wi-Fi settings. And search for a network named something like Wavlink underscore N or Wi-Fi repeater. Connect to that network. The default Wi-Fi password is mentioned on the device's label, so check the label on the side or bottom. Once connected, open any browser and type in 192.168.10.1 and press Enter. You'll land on the Wavlink setup page. For the login, use the default credentials, both the username and password are usually admin. Choose repeater mode if you want to extend your existing Wi-Fi network. The extender will scan for available networks. Find your home Wi-Fi from the list and click on it. Enter your main Wi-Fi password carefully and click apply. The extender will reboot. Give it a minute to finish connecting. Head outside and test the connection, stream a video, run a speed test, or just check the signal bars. You'll notice a major improvement. If you want, you can rename the extender's network to something like backyard underscore Wi-Fi to keep it separate from your main one. If the signal still isn't great, try adjusting the antennas or mounting the extender a bit higher, even a couple of feet can make a noticeable difference. And that's it. You've got long-range outdoor Wi-Fi up and running. No more signal drop-offs, no more walking back inside to stay connected. If this helped you out, hit that like button, subscribe for more tech how-tos, and if you've got questions, or need help with other modes like AP or WISP, drop them in the comments. We are happy to help. Thanks for watching.